In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Fallout 3 on Windows 10. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to cover how you can acquire Fallout 3, and I'm going to showcase a method to fix any issues that you have while trying to run the game. So, to acquire the game officially, you will be able to purchase it through the Steam Store. So, if you don't own it on Steam, go over to the Steam Store, look for Fallout 3 under the Bethesda Game Studios, and you will be able to purchase the standard edition of Fallout 3 or Game of the Year, which includes a bunch of add-ons. Now, after you go ahead and you purchase the game through Steam, you will find it under your Steam library. While you are able to go ahead and click play, what you will notice is that if you go through the launcher, you click play and you try to play it right away, you might encounter issues with the game crashing upon starting a new save file. So what I recommend is that you go ahead and you just try to start a new game. If it crashes just like this, then follow the method that I'm going to show you now. First, go over to the Windows settings. In here, when you go over to the settings, Find System, which should be the default category, and select Display. I do want to make another disclaimer. You will notice that I am doing this process on Windows 11, but don't worry, all of these options can also be accessed on a Windows 10 PC. So again, just go over to the Display Settings in Windows. In the Display Settings, scroll down until you find Graphics, Settings, and in here, what you have to do is make sure that Fallout and Fallout Launcher for Steam are both set to high performance. If you cannot find them here while looking, just click Browse and you will be able to go to the location where they are installed. Usually, this is going to be under Steam Apps Common and Fallout 3. To make this easier, just right-click the game on Steam, go over to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. This will take you to the exact location of the game, and like I said, you will have to add Fallout3.exe and FalloutLauncherSteam.exe to the Windows graphics settings. Now, click on both of them individually, go over to Options, and make sure that it is set to High Performance. Remember to save, and once again, remember to save. Once you save both of these with High Performance, you can go ahead and try relaunching Fallout 3. If it still does not work, then there is an additional fix. You can download this package from Nexus Mods, so look for Intel HD Graphics Bypass Package. Download it and you should get a zip file containing this d3d9.dl and fallout.ini. So all that you have to do is drag this d3d9 file into the installation folder for the game so you will be able to find it when you right click Fallout 3 on your Steam library, manage, and then browse local files. So like I said, first you are going to drag d3d9dll into the installation folder, which I've already done, and this fallout.ini file you are going to drag under Documents, My Games, Fallout 3. So, you might be asked to replace the files, just click the option to replace, and now, with this fix, plus the high-performance Windows settings, you should be able to run Fallout 3 without any issues. So, I'm just going to make it windowed to demonstrate this, and as soon as you get in, and you start a new save file, you will be good to go. So I'm just going to get through the start here, and we should see the initial cutscene. There it is. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Fallout 3 on Windows 10. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.